Hello friends, welcome back to the Selenium tutorial. In the previous session, we learned how to execute a Selenium script on a Google Chrome driver. We learned how to configure that and execute the script on the Google Chrome driver. In this session, we would learn how to execute a Selenium script on the Internet Explorer browser. The steps are almost similar, but it, it includes more settings and configuration. So let's start doing that. So the first step is the same we, as we required a Chrome driver. In this case, we require an Internet Explorer driver. So from where to get, I'll open the standard Selenium HQ website. I would go into the download section. If you scroll down in the center towards the bottom, you have something called the Internet Explorer driver server. From here, you would get the Internet Explorer driver. So here you have this download version 2.44 for 32 bit window or 64 bit window depending on your system you have to select the appropriate option i am using a 32 bit window so i would be selecting 32 bit windows ie and i will start my download by clicking on that link i do an okay and my download would start so once the download would get completed you will have this kind of a zip file in your downloads folder so you have to extract it right click select extract all click on extract button and the files would get extracted you could see it's getting extracted the extraction is completed once it is completed if you click on this folder you could see the IE driver server this is the executable internet explorer driver server which the path this path we will need to specify in our java code so i'll just minimize this window once again go to eclipse and start writing my class file over here so the steps again the same i would be creating a new class by clicking by right clicking on this source folder new class I would give the name of the class as IE browser we need to execute on Internet Explorer so I have given this name you could give anything I would once again select this option public static void main click on the finish button So the class will load in few seconds. It has loaded with this default main method. I would remove this comment. I do not need it. So once again, I would start writing my code from the main function. The first step is to create the driver object. So web driver driver is equal to new this time I would write the Internet Explorer driver because I need to launch the Internet Explorer and perform actions on the Internet Explorer browser so I would write new Internet Explorer driver you all must be familiar with these errors very easy to Handle them, just hover the mouse to the red mark web driver. Eclipse would give the suggestions. Import web driver. I click on it. The web driver gets imported and the red mark vanishes. Once again, I would do the same thing for Internet Explorer driver. Click on Internet Explorer driver and it gets imported and the error has vanished. Next step is driver dot get with the help of driver dot get you would be able to navigate to the website in our case google.com next step is the window driver dot manage
dot window dot maximize by now you all must be familiar with the syntax and finally we would be printing the title so driver dot get title we need to print that so we, i'll write system dot out dot print ln so this part is completed so now in this case we would be launching the internet explorer browser so as we had done for the google chrome i need to tell my code that i have to pick up the internet explorer driver from a certain location so i will need to provide that statement in the code so the statement goes like this this should be included before we are launching the browser so i am writing it over the line web driver driver is equal to new internet explorer driver i am writing above it the line i am typing is system dot p and here i will be providing two arguments the first argument would be the standard text i need to execute on internet explorer so the text is web driver dot ie dot driver just type it as it is i repeat it is web driver dot ie dot driver within double inverted quotes the second argument here we need to specify the path where my internet explorer driver executable file is residing on my system so i had stored it on this location i would copy this path and paste it in my second parameter we know that java does not understand a single slash so we need to provide two slashes two backslashes to be specific so this error has vanished and here again we have just mentioned the location we need to provide the name of the exe as well so the name of the exe is ie driver server what i do is copy paste this i'll paste it over here and since it is an executable i will write the extension .exe over here so the code is ready so before executing i would like to share few settings like this code would work on my internet explorer because i have already configured those settings on the internet explorer browser but you might have to do that and if those settings are not done you may encounter errors so to avoid the, that i'll just share the settings which i have already done on my internet explorer so let me open my internet explorer browser and i will share the settings which i have done it so you may also do that so that you will not face any issues else you will have to do the configurations when you find an error so i have manually launched this internet explorer i will show you the settings which are necessary to get this code running successfully so this is my internet explorer browser go to tools on the right hand side select the last option internet options a new window would open on this new window go to the second tab security when you click security by default internet would be selected so if you move down you'll have this checkbox enable protected mode this should be on if it is off please select it as on select that option and set this security levels allow levels for this zone to medium high if you if it is some set to something else just click on it see i set it to high but it should be set to medium high i have set it to medium high now repeat the same step for internet local intranet click on local intranet here local intranet is selected now this enable protected mode if it is unselected do selected and set the security level to medium high 
and do the same setting for trusted sites. This enable protected mode should be on and the security level should be set to medium high. I'll do an apply. Okay. So these settings you should do before you uh, trying to execute a selenium script on the internet explorer browser else you might encounter some errors so i now i have configured all the settings i now close this internet explorer browser and now I'm, i would execute this script which we have just written to execute the script right click anywhere on the screen run as java application As you can see, the Internet Explorer browser has now opened. Now it would go to the website google.com. So it has navigated to google.com and now we will check on the Eclipse console whether it has picked up the title yes it has done it it has typed google in the console which means we have successfully executed the selenium script on the internet explorer browser so now we know how to execute a script on the firefox browser we need not do any settings only a line web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver would do the job for you if you need to execute it on chrome driver the line would be web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver but you should then set the system property to webdriver.chrome.driver and provide the path of the chrome driver as a second parameter and as in this example if you need to execute a selenium script on internet explorer then the line would be webdriver driver is equal to new internet explorer driver and the system set property would be as shown in this script webdriver.ie.driver and the path of the internet explorer driver please do not forget to include the actual executable file in the end else the script won't work it would give you a failure so we have completed these sessions of running scripts on different browsers now we would be moving towards more complex examples where we would be performing some actions actually on the elements like filling some values in text boxes in drop down list how to handle check boxes those would be covered in my next tutorials guys do join me in those tutorials thanks for joining hope to see you soon